Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome. My name is Holly and I was recently on this series of Celebs Go Dating series 11. What you're about to watch is going to be the Celebs Go Dating vlog. Now this is my experience on the show. You're going to follow me from the very first day. Well, actually, you follow me from the very beginning which started back in July for me and then you see me on my dates and throughout the process and I take the camera away of course to Cyprus as well so you'll get to see a lot of the behind the scenes footage. Obviously I didn't get my camera out when we were filming the scenes because that just wouldn't be allowed and you know I was very mindful of the fact that not everybody would want to be on my vlog so what you're seeing is going to be basically me a few of the others and I have also inserted some iPhone footage that I got from the other guys and from my phone from when we were away so I hope you enjoy I did film a Q&A on my channel which you can watch it was filmed last week so it's very recent but if you do have any more questions then please feel free to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram my Instagram is at it's Holly Wilson and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you so my name is Holly Wilson, I'm 28, I live in Southampton and I work as a Medispa assistant. Oh okay, personality, they've got to have a sense of humour for a start. I like a guy that's funny, can have banter, hold a conversation, you know, there's nothing worse than being sat on a date and thinking crickets, you know, what are we going to talk about and it's just awkward silence. I hate that. I'm a talker myself, as you can probably tell, so I like to keep a conversation going, and so somebody that's on the same sort of vibe as me, with a sense of humour. Um, looks, I mean, my ex-boyfriends have all looked completely different, so I don't think I have a particular type, but, I mean, if you've got anyone that's sort of Jack Grealishy, that would be great. <laughs> Who doesn't want Jack Grealish? No, someone... Oh, I mean, he's a cheeky chappy, you know, because even his personality is, you know, a bit cheeky, a bit naughty. Someone like that would be great. <laughs> Guys, a look. How cute outside my window we've got ponies this is so cute literal farm vibes it's just the lighting so i'm just about to film my very first scene so i'm currently in my room i've just met pete Lighting's awful. So I've just met Pete. I'm currently in my room. We just did the welcome scene where we get out of the car um, and we meet them for a drink. And then we literally got straight back in the car to take us to our rooms. And I'm in a robe. Currently in my robe. And then I'm gonna be getting ready, touching up the hair and makeup. And then we're going for our dinner. So it's a double date with myself, Laura and then Pete and Gary Lucy, which you would have already seen, but yeah, or would have already been aired. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. But yeah, I'm getting ready for the date now. I think I'm gonna just recurl my hair because it's been raining and it's just a frizzy mess. But Pete was really nice. He offered to give me his jacket if I was cold. He had a glass of Prosecco. And so yeah, I'm looking forward to the date. And I'm gonna get changed now, or redo my makeup and hair, or we'll touch up my makeup because it's actually kind of Alright still, I don't know, you be the judge. I'm gonna touch up everything and then get dressed and then we've got about an hour, so look at the mess. But yeah. Behind the scenes and it's absolutely unreal here. It's actually so beautiful. Like I know I've showed you the ponies already, but there's ponies, there's alpacas, animals everywhere, alpacas, there's a cat running around, there's dogs running around, there's cows, there's sheep. We have an igloo with a bed in it, which we can sleep in if we want to. We have a hot tub, we have a slide, we have a barbecue, a pizza oven. It's so cute here. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated.
Morning everyone. I'm joined by the beautiful Laura. Hi. We're going to take you on a tour. We're going to be really quiet because I don't know who's about. Look how, oh my god, it's like backlit, oh my backlit. It's stunning. Right. Wait for it to focus. So this is our little like terrace. We've got a little table here. Cute little chairs. It's, like, it's stunning. It's unreal. It's so beautiful. Show them the igloo. Pizza oven. Barbecue. God, this floor is freezing. <laughs> then we've got a hot tub. That's not the hot tub that we were in last night, though. And then these steps. Oh, a slide. Because the essentials. And we've got these stairs that lead up to the most beautiful. This at night time is absolutely stunning. I can't tell if you can see inside, but you can now. It's got a bed. It's an igloo. And then look how cute the view. We've got sheep. Sun's just coming up, like I said, it is about 7.30 a.m. Oh my God, it's so cold. I'm in my robe, because comfort is key. And today, we're getting ready for them boys to make us breakfast. I've been promised, what did Gary promise us? A bacon, it was, he said, it was like... Tomato and bacon, like, breakfast sandwich? I think it was, do you know what it was? It was, he was like, guys, you, you can't, you, the white speciality dish is a bacon, tomato and vinegar sandwich. That was it, yeah. And we're like, pizza vegetarian, so Pete's like, oh, wait till I'm making my porridge. And so I was like, yeah, I think I'll be, I'll be having some porridge. I'm not going anywhere near Gary Lucy's bacon sandwich. But look, look at all the cute little animals. We got ponies. There's cows down there, but I don't think they're out yet. And then the alpacas, you can see this guy here. The alpacas, get off my camera, that we're gonna be playing with today. I don't think anyone else is up yet, or if they're up, they're not out. Sheep. Yeah, this is the room I stayed in last night. Really cute. I didn't sleep too well though. But that's to be expected. Wish us luck for today. I can't even tell you how bad the lighting is, but this is my outfit for today. Cute, casual. But still a little bit sexy. Laura lent me this because I'm unprepared as usual. Off on our day. See you soon. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I was literally going to say the same thing to you. My hair's still wet, so just think it on that. <laughs> Sunday, let us off. Oh, that one got me today. They, they let me know, I think it was a couple of days ago now, that I had a, a second date. So I was like, right. Not going out, and all my friends are asking me to go out, and I was like, I can't. I was like, I'm not telling you why. I was like, I've just got a lot going on this week, and I don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> yeah. And that is me doing my COVID test day before my date. Just thought I'd insert that there, just to show you the reality of it. We could never be too certain. But yeah, negative. Um, let's hope we stay that way so I can go on my second date tomorrow. Guys, I've arrived in London for my second date with Pete. Um, can't I? I really need the toilet and the toilets in War City Station are just a no-go. So I'm sat outside at a bus stop waiting for my driver to come pick me up to take me to location. I've got anodin, I've got pineapple, melon and grape and I've got Evian. Sorry, there was just a big group of rowdy boys that wanted to talk to me. Um, I've got Evian, which I can't lie. I'm not a water, I am a bit of a water snob, I was gonna say I'm not there, but I am. Evian tastes just like tap water. I'm sorry, don't come for me Evian, but it literally tastes like tap water and I'm just like, my favorite water is smart water. Don't really like Fiji, don't really know what the hype's about. Um, but yeah, I'm just sat at a bus stop because there's nowhere to sit in the station. I'm hungry. I'm eating my fruit and I'm thirsty and I've got a headache and I just wanna I just wanna drink, right? I was just gonna get a little cheeky little drink for my date to calm my nerves, but 
I didn't bring my ID and they're IDing me. And it's actually really embarrassing. I'm kind of flattered, but I'm kind of a bit like pissed off as well. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna have fruit and water. And when I get on the date, I might just see if Pete wants to do a cheeky little tequila, which I'm sure we will. But yeah, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to calm our nerves without alcohol. Yeah. It's a machine. Hard to see why Pete's warm to Holly. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. So the last time I saw you, I was in London, about to go on my second date with Pete. And um, yeah, it went really, really well. Kind of the best possible outcome. He's, he's asked me to go on the final trip where they all go away together. So we're going to Cyprus and it today is, I haven't really been updating you on dates, but basically this has all happened over like a two week period from the first date to now. So today is, I believe the 5th, it's a Wednesday, it's October. And we go on, well we go up to the airport on Saturday night to stay over and we go on an early morning flight on Sunday. So I've quickly, like I've come back from London, I had work yesterday, today is a day off so I'm just quickly running about, trying to get everything together so that I can go and be prepared, basically be prepared for the trip. Excuse the mess that is currently behind me, you can see it on all my drawers. I'm about to pop into town. I will be wearing a mask because I do not want to risk catching COVID before we go because obviously they test like every day. Um, I think I'm all right for clothes. I do need a couple more bags. I'm not allowed to have anything that's kind of branded. This is me making sure I don't catch COVID. But yeah, um, let me show you. Basically, I've got a huge pile. I had a massive pretty little thing delivery, which literally has just taken over my life. I've got swimwear, I've got evening outfits, I've still got a pack obviously like underwear and toiletries and things like that, but I'm just about to pop into town now and just do like a last minute shop of like everything. Um, my Uber's here, so I'll check back in with you guys. So I just thought I'd update you. We're going on holiday. I've got such a busy week, I've got such a busy few days, I've got so much to do, but it's exciting. <sighs> Ladies and gents, we are back from shopping. I look like a drowned rat right now and that is because it is absolutely disgusting outside. Vile. I won't be complaining in a few days time because I'll be in the sun but yeah, um, it's actually disgusting outside and that's why I look like this. But, and I also was wearing a mask like a good girl because obviously I don't want to catch COVID and I told you that already but it's filthy. But we still wore it. A white bag and I'm gonna see if I can get like a silver bag or like a sparkly bag I knew exactly what I was after <laughs> and I found it how cute is she this is like the TikTok viral bag that everyone knows about but she's cute um, and there's an additional long handle inside so if I wanted to wear it crossbody but let's be honest I'm just gonna wear it like that. That'd be cute. And then I found a then I found a white bag. Again, she's cute. She's kind of I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, she's kind of textured. Um, eleven pounds. I think the other one was twelve. She's flat on this side, so you could wear it like that, or you could wear it with the texture. Quite a good size. Yeah, Friday I've got work and then Saturday I'm getting my nails done at 11am and then the car's picking me up from my house at 3 to take me to Gatwick Airport so that I'm there in time for dinner with the crew and the gang, the whole gang and yeah, bye guys! The time has come, all of my swimwear is just going to go in, in the back of my bag so we'll just place that there a little bit. Disappointed. Because, well, that is my packing. That is it done. I've got my heels, my flats, my wedges, my swimwear cover ups, daytime tops, some even outfits, pajama bits, casual, 
more tops, more dresses, more skirts, like literally even outfits. And then I just have to pack toiletries, perfume, makeup. Some of the bits that I need every day that are in there. And then yeah, get me out of this miserable weather and into the sunshine. Afternoon everyone, it's Saturday and today we travel up to the airport to stay in the hotel by Gatwick. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like I keep coming to you from this room but yeah this is my bedroom. Essentially I'm all packed up, all packed up, that's my suitcase. Weighing in at a mighty, hefty 19.5 kg. I have 23, so that's positive. And I'm going to the airport at 3 o'clock. It is now... twenty to one. Just I'm waiting around to do now. I've just done my COVID test. Thank goodness it's come back. Negative. I've got one more to do when I'm in the car on the way up to the airport hotel at 3.30 just so there's someone on Zoom to do it with me to, you know, satisfy that it was me. But I thought I'd do one just in case. Yeah, and that's it. All packed up. Everything's ready to go. Triple checked everything. And yeah, that's it really. Just waiting around now. So I've just arrived in my hotel room, just checked in, that was a really smooth, enjoyable taxi ride, I had a really big car, I put my feet up, almost fell asleep but I didn't, and yeah so we've just got here, nobody seems to be about, I thought there was going to be people downstairs you know in the reception like waiting but I don't think they've even got here yet so I think I'm pretty much the first person or everyone else is like hiding out in their rooms. But let me show you the little room that we've got for the night. So you come in. And this is the bathroom. I haven't actually been in here yet. The lighting's okay. I mean, I'm not too bothered about getting ready for dinner tonight because I do just think it's gonna be a pretty chilled one. Um, I think I'm just gonna kinda go like this, maybe change out of these. And we've got another mirror here, so the shower itself. I'm probably going to have a bath later because I need to wash my hair. Um, and then the main room, we've got a big TV area there. Huge king-size bed, which we love. Full-length mirror, OOTD. <laughs> big old bed. And yeah, a few of the car park, I reckon. I've just hung my hoodie up in there. Um... And yeah, tea, coffee, you know the drill. Pretty standard, but nice as far as hotels go for the night. I've literally just arrived. I'm kind of just hanging about now because I don't really know what to do. I'm not hungry for dinner yet. It's only... It's only quarter to five. I'm not really hungry for dinner yet. So I feel like I'm just going to pop the TV on. Chill out and wait for everyone else to get here and message me. That's all I've got to say, really. It's a nice hotel room. Got some pineapple on the go. Because, you know, well, it's 
good. Team has arrived and I'm gonna go down now to the restaurant and meet them, maybe have a little drink, some food. I'm just gonna go like this because I'm in a hotel. I don't know if I'm too underdressed, but they said I'm okay, so I think it's super casual anyway, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's currently 2.45 in the morning. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock in the a.m. And your girl is up. She's looking rough. About to fix that. Um, I've got to leave. Oh, I've got to be downstairs in 45 minutes to meet the rest of the team and catch the first bus to North Terminal because we're staying in South Terminal. It is absolutely freezing. I woke up, it was so cold. I turned everything off last night because the aircon, like, it either goes hot or cold. It doesn't like, kind of go like in, it kind of goes in between. I don't know, I can't really think. But yeah, so I woke up, it was freezing. And I was like, I didn't want to wear this hoodie, I just kind of wanted to drape it over my shoulders. But like, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely wearing it. And the one, windows are like, you don't even what is the what is this segment of this video what is this it's me half asleep chatting pure shit i need a drink alcoholic one <laughs> so this is me no makeup on i'm about to put some on oh my god that slaps i'm trying to look my best because pete's gonna be at the airport <laughs> So I don't want him to be like, oh, fuck it, I'm just shooting like that in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to look my best, but I don't really look like I've tried too hard, which is good because I'm not going to try too hard. just arrived in the room um oh my god it's beautiful but the view the view is unreal wow that is unreal and stunning you know i love a view guys it don't get better than that cute that my that's us walking for 10 minutes Okay, for the bar, to the bar. Just wait for the drink. Oh yes, I'm agree with that. beautiful people this is night one well night two but night one filming this is going to be the first thing that we filmed so far so we had a chilled day today by the pool whilst um, the celebs were filming their entrance so they were walking in with their suitcases and this is the first time that we have um, uh, 
basically seeing them, even though we've seen them already, but for the cameras. Um, we don't have to walk in with our suitcases. It's like we've landed at the same time as them, but we've gone up to our rooms to get ready. Um, that's kind of the storyline. So we've gone up to our rooms to get ready, and then we're gonna have some drinks. Um, the theme was like glam. And I've been speaking to the other girls, and they're like, right, we're, we're going full out. So I decided to put on like a sexy little LBD. I've got, I've paired it with these white shoes. Um, just because I'm gonna have a white bag as well, and I think that would be cute. White, white, pop of black, 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 white, you know, monochromatic moment. But yeah, that is the outfit. We're gonna meet them now, so I will obviously, as always, update you. I don't really know what tonight's gonna hold. I know that we're obviously filming our entrances and we're gonna meet everyone, but then I'm guessing we'll go for dinner, have drinks, and then tomorrow we'll get the schedule for tomorrow as well. So, boop, boop, boop. And Pete's Holly and Bethan's Rudy. Go. We are currently filming Celeb School Dating. Introduce um, yourself. I am Devante. I'm Liam, Liam's Dates. This is Holly. They know. She's a bit hammered. She's a bit drunk. But we move. It's been a How's, good day. It's been a good day, haven't it? How's uh how's It's our Pete? a first official first <laughs> day. How's it? Pete? It's getting very horny with Pete. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I wouldn't say horny. I'd say it's more like. I'd say um, when you've been held back. Yeah, and then you get that one-to-one -one chat with someone. It's a lot more. It comes out. It gets a very um, intimate, doesn't but it? But Liam's bought two people. Yeah, for the free holiday. Cypress is beautiful at this time. Yeah, <laughs> and she's here for um, Pete. You said you knew his room number. So. 2203 apparently. I said 2208 and he said no. So I was like 2203 he said yes. Anything can happen in Cyprus. This is us. It says us. <laughs> One too many <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Hiya everyone. So I'm just joining you from the balcony. It's so bright and so sunny. Tonight is pool party night. It is sort of 7.30, so I don't think we're actually gonna be going in the pool. I think it's gonna be more like, more like around the pool and like drinks around the pool, like that kind of vibe, which I think would be really nice. So I've decided to go for my um, little white, this white number because it's kind of like cut out, it's kind of daytimey, beachy, sort of ocean beach vibes. So I've gone for that because I don't plan on getting on the water anyway. And I've gone for a ponytail. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing tonight. I'm gonna go down for dinner, join everyone, and I've just found out that my date is tomorrow. It'd be nice to just get some more time with Pete and just to chill. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Excited for tonight because the pool party vibe sounds great. And It'll be really nice to just chill with everyone again. So, checking in and letting you know what's going on. And that's it, my view is beautiful, I've got to show you. Ugh. It's just stunning. We're going to one of those villas over there to do the pool party, so it's out of, um, out of the hotel today, which is nice. Yay! Okay, and I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, Hey, I'm not. Hey, 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 um, yeah, so we had a double date today and then we got actually quite a lot of time off camera with each other just to have fun. So we went on summer water slides, we went for a swim, we were just laughing, joking, flirting. And it was really nice and yeah, I had a really nice day today. Tonight, um, I've got to go down in about 20 minutes, it's about 20 to 6. I've got to film some TikToks for social media purposes 
and do some um, promotional shots for the show. And then, um, so I've decided to go for this green dress. It's just a simple green dress. My hair in a ponytail with these front bits down. And I've, honestly, the reason why is because my hair has been soaking wet. Um, because I've only just come up from the pool, so I'll just get ready really quickly. I'm having such a nice time. So that's what we're doing now. I'm gonna go down, get ready, and, and I'm gonna film the TikToks, um, the reels and things for social media purposes. Um, today we actually did get some um, paps taking pictures of us as well. There was a couple of paparazzi shots from yesterday that were put up online from another couple. So yeah, <laughs> um, that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Like I said, green dress, hair ponytail. This is the vibe tonight. Tomorrow is the last day of filming and then we fly back Friday. So tomorrow is a full day of filming. It's gonna be very intense, it's gonna be a lot going on and we've got the finale to film. But um, yeah, me and Peter are having a good time together and that's all that really matters. So I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye. Hey. So go for it. Go for it. Looking like he's missed his wake up call and fallen out of. That was my celebs go dating vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. I've made some great friends and if you haven't watched my Q&A, hop on my channel after this and watch that because that will just probably answer all your questions anyway. Thanks again for all the support and yeah, let's go dating series 11. Over and out, that's me done. Bye.